does does a midstream operator think differently about let's say building the LNG project or are there other changes maybe from a construction point of view and maybe maybe you haven't gotten there yet you know your focus is all on getting the FID in place but I'm curious uh, how yeah I would say well a couple of things one is the desire to get into the LNG uh, project right as recent as two three years ago nobody wants to talk about LNG projects yeah. you know people felt like we're in a very sufficient market we have enough gas and nobody wants to um, support projects to take FID and I think that's changed uh, starting from about a year and a half ago and so the desire to get into LNG is very similar for us versus uh, independent projects. You know, LNG project was talked about at every earnings call. Uh, equity analysts want to know what your status is. They want to know how do we, you know, when is the capex kicking in? So it's very much on top of the priority. Um, and you know, you talk about construction. How do we look at it differently? Well, I mean, we've done a lot of mega projects, so it's not the first. Um, mega projects that we do and also we're familiar with cryogenic facilities right we're the biggest ethane exporter um, in the world so from that perspective I think experience helps and you know and, and of course um, the LNG industry you rely quite a lot on the on the contractors and uh, you know the owner plays its part but a lot of it is having qualified contractors so yeah, not sure there's a whole lot of difference in terms of approach. We do plan to operate the plant. Um, so, you know, you think about the full cycle economics rather than just what is the cheapest way to get to FID. Um, it's also, you know, does that impact the variable cost? We designed the plant having the full cycle economics in mind.